Well, how are you today? Uh, thank you for tuning in to On and Off the Road again. Um, had an opportunity this evening on this sunny, nice day here in South Dakota. It hit like almost 80 degrees today, which is crazy in the spring. But I um, had an opportunity to bring out this Indian you see behind me. And I'm going to do a little bit of a walk around, start it up so you can hear it. Um, I just want to give you a little bit of my first impressions. And uh, it's my first time riding an Indian uh, out on the road and just kind of for basic riding. And I haven't taken it on the interstate just because I haven't had the time or opportunity to do that yet. But compared to other bikes that I've ridden, done videos on, I've got to be honest, this one rides kind of stiff. And maybe that's just kind of the way this type of bike is, or this, these kinds are. But um, of course, this one is also a bobber. You can see the seat. So it's a little bit of a firm seat, too. But the way the rear suspension is on this one, um, it is a firm ride. And maybe it's better than other bikes. Um, I, you know, as I have an opportunity to ride those, I'll certainly share my thoughts on those. Uh, but I, power wise, it is no slouch. Um, it definitely has that V twin grunt, that sound you'll hear. And uh, it is still fun to ride. And uh, it's got a nice sound. This one is the factory Indian exhaust, it's not an aftermarket one. Um, and, you know, I was going second gear and uh, opened the throttle a little bit, and the tire, rear tire actually broke loose a little bit. So it's certainly there. The road was totally dry. Uh, but uh, you just be ready. I mean, it has ABS and traction control, but you don't ever want to go outside your comfort zone or ability. Uh, I unfortunately found that out the hard way um, a little while ago when uh, I was I was actually leaving work on my SV650 and just in the parking lot. I didn't even make it out on the road going across the parking lot, and I hit a patch of ice. And I, I didn't even know that it was ice. It just looked like water. And anyway, I laid it down, and uh, unfortunately, that's that's why I haven't done any other videos for that bike. I'm gonna do some more here in the near future because um, I've got to do some repairs on it, and uh, I'll share those as um, those are done. But um, hurt my knee in the process, um, so uh, I was laid out for three days and had these crutches for a couple days. But uh, thankfully, um, I'm up and walking, and my knee is probably about 95%, maybe even a little bit more better. Uh, it only has a little bit of pain when I move certain angles, so I am so thankful for that. Um, I, I've had a lot of people praying for me, and I appreciate it. I've noticed it. So uh, thank you, and uh, without further ado, let's go into this Indian, and uh, I'll give you Here is the 2020 uh, Indian Scout Bobber, and uh, really nice, kind of a copper, bronze color. I, I don't actually know the official name of the color, but you can see this one is pretty original form. I don't think anything's been done to it. Um, this one is available for sale at Sturgis Motorsports, so if you're looking for a bike like this, this is a good version. It's pretty low miles, only 8,000 miles for a 2020. Um, tires are in pretty good shape. But you can see it's clean. Sorry, it's a little dusty, but uh, it was brought out when it was raining and then we and put away but it's really really cool they've done some nice touches on the engine you can see down there on the side case single disc on the front wheel your belt drive single disc there you can see through the wheel on the rear this one see this one has a shock on this side and as I go around you'll see shock on the other side so it's the dual rear shock so it's not a soft tail or I mean excuse me it's not a rigid but it is a soft tail but um, it still feels pretty stiff of course I've never ridden a rigid so this is probably a feels like a pillow in comparison but I'm gonna go here we'll fire this thing up just real simple interface here just the gauge you turn the key on down below lights up oh 12,000 miles I was wrong 12,797 miles on it 
you've got your basic controls over here. Signals, horn, lights. This one does have the mirrors added on, on the outside. And then, super simple, start up, kill switch on this side. Here we go. That is a 2020 Indian Scout Bobber. Put down any questions or comments you have down below. I'm happy to answer them. And if I can't, I'll look them up or ask somebody who can. And uh, thank you for tuning into the channel. God bless. A couple last things I wanted to share on this Indian that um, I found as I've ridden it a little bit. And, uh, you know, the, the power is actually really usable on it. But one thing, and I don't know if it's just this one, but the throttle on this thing is so touchy, especially at low speeds. It's almost like a switch. So um, maybe that's something that's adjustable, and I'm no expert in that area. But one thing to think about when you test ride it, be um, just be mindful of the throttle response, and it's responsive. But it's, it's, it seems really sensitive, at least from other bikes that I've ridden.